enough food and money to feed everybody, and I think the natural balance, even though old people will last longer, I'm sure there's quick... enough room for us, and some of them can go to the moon anyway. You, you mean you think there's enough if it were Yeah, I don't believe overpopulation, you know. I, I think that's just a kind of myth that oh. uh, the government has thrown out to keep your mind off Vietnam and Ireland and all the important subjects. Oh, I think you're wrong about that. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so there's the facts uh, from John Lennon. But, but, I mean, the facts are the facts. World population is set to stop at about 8.1 billion, and I tend to agree with UN numbers because that mirrors the private think tanks that have studied it. It's going to plane out in 2020 to 2025 at a little over 8 billion, and then it's set to drop at current rates to about 6 billion by 2050. So the world population is dropping. But, but here is a uh, boil down. Uh, put out by a, a great group uh, that, uh, that's been doing research on this that we also have posted in Paul Watson's uh, article uh, at PrisonPlanet.com, Scientific American, Kill More Babies to Save Earth. We have a link to that organization where, uh, also in the video where they have all the uh, documents and facts from government itself. Here it is. This is Population 101. 2.1 kids, a stable population. From the time of the cavemen all the way until today, humanity continues to exist because each generation of people has produced another generation to replace itself. Scientists have figured out how many people need to be born each generation to replace the generation before. That number is one person per person. All things being equal, this creates perfect demographic balance. Since women are the only ones who can have children, replacing every person on Earth means each woman needs to have two children, one to replace her and the other to replace the man who cannot have children. The total fertility rate is the average number of children each woman in a society is having. This number shows us if a society is growing or shrinking. In developed countries, the replacement rate birth rate is 2.1 children per woman. This will keep the population stable, but even that is assuming that every woman has children and that there are no wars, famines, or disease. In the real world, disasters happen all the time, and sadly, not all children reach adulthood, especially in poor countries. This pushes their replacement rate up to 3.3 children per woman. Since not every woman wants to have children, in order to keep the population stable, some women need to have more than 2.1 children to balance the birth rate with the women who are only having one or no children at all. Maintaining this balance is of the utmost importance. If society does not at least replace itself every generation, human numbers begin to fall exponentially. Economic and social problems appear as elderly people retiring begin to outnumber young people entering the workplace. This is already happening all over the developed world. Many of the world's nations are only barely replacing themselves, while a growing majority have birth rates below replacement, some as low as 1.8 or even 1.2 babies per woman. Many societies are facing a very real danger. Extinction. Think about it. And that's from the Population Research Institute. They have a whole bunch of great videos all backed up with the scientific uh, statistics and numbers. And that's just the facts. So that's what's being pushed. That's what's being promoted. Uh, Scientific American kill more babies to save the earth. And they quote an article and source an article calling for a global eco-fascist dictatorship, a planetary regime, to enforce it. This is not a game. This is not a joke. We're going to come back and take your phone calls. I first wanted to thank a few of the sponsors that make this radio broadcast possible that I really believe in. One of them is Front Sight Firearms Training. Frontsight.com, two words, frontsight.com, uh, is the website uh, URL. And uh, they have a uh, great deal. We're going to to Pahrump, Nevada. And you can get five days of world-class gun training at Front Sight Firearms Training Institute and secure a 30-state concealed weapon, all for pennies on the dollar. And uh, they also have a great deal. It's it's the best outfit. No drill instructor or tough guy attitude. Handgun, rifle, shotgun training, family atmosphere. Again, no drill instructor, tough guy attitude. And you can get a free Springfield Armory XD pistol in the caliber of your choice. They have a lot of other great information and tips on firearms uh, on their website, frontsite.com. Take action today. That's frontsite.com uh, for your training and free gun. And uh, one other sponsor that I want to thank <clears throat> here is Acola Blue. Uh, Acola Blue is just a, a wonderful 
uh, atmospheric uh, water generator. They've got smaller units that run it through seven filters, and it just grabs the water right out of the atmosphere. They have bigger units that go up to hundreds or even thousands of gallons that they sell military governments and charitable uh, you know, organizations that are out there in the African bush or wherever they're you know, dealing uh, with uh, people that don't have clean water. And you can run it off solar panel systems. They've got links to all that uh, on their site as well. Acolablue.com, E-C-O-L-O. B-L-U-E dot com, the best, purest drinking water out there you're going to find. It never went through the groundwater system, never, uh, you know, had all the uh, different toxins leach into it like your regular drinking water. Acolablue dot com or 800-691-6043, 800-691-6043, Acolablue dot com and FrontSite dot com. Two great sponsors that make this broadcast possible. Uh, also, what makes this transmission possible is the fact that you buy the books and videos and T-shirts and things and also the Money Bomb. Uh, it's at about $420,000. Sounds like a lot, but not when you got 20 employees and a huge facility and, and all the bandwidth costs. But this is really going to allow us, thanks to you, so take a lot of satisfaction in that, to complete the TV studio, the social network, and all the other things we're doing to spread the word even faster. So I want to thank all of you for what you've done. And if any of you missed the Money Bomb and wanted to contribute, it's still up there and running. You can uh, give online at InfoWarsMoneyBomb.com or 888-253-3139. Thank you for helping us continue and accelerate our fight against the globalist. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Hi, this is Alex Jones. Did you know that the global elite are now storing non-hybrid seeds in secret storage vaults near the Arctic Circle? Did you know that in a real meltdown, non-hybrid seeds can become more valuable than silver or gold? It's true. Seeds have outperformed even gold and silver before in this country. And it's possible that it could even happen again. So our friends at Solutions from Science have put together the perfect mix of non-hybrid seeds. They call it a survival seed bank, and it can produce an endless supply of nutrient-dense food for you and your family. And here's the best part. These seeds have not been genetically modified in any way, and you actually get enough seeds to plant a full acre crisis garden. So visit them today at survivalseedbank.com. That's survivalseedbank.com. Or give them a call at 877-327-0365. That's 877-327-0365. Remember... In a real crisis, non-hybrid seeds are the ultimate barter item. This is Alex Jones for SurvivalSeedBank.com. As gardeners, we can all relate. What do you do with all of the excess food that you grow? Freezing or canning may have been the process you've used, but the good folks at Excalibur Dehydrator have a healthy alternative to preserve the fruits of your labor. The Excalibur Dehydrator will help you preserve your fruits and vegetables quickly and easily so you don't have to worry about premature spoiling. You can also use your Excalibur Dehydrator year-round to make delicious jerky. And the best part? The foods you dehydrate are free from excess additives, salt, and preservatives. And that's something we can all do without. To learn more and to order your very own Excalibur Dehydrator, visit Dryingone23.com and see how the Excalibur Dehydrator can help you preserve your favorite foods. Mention coupon code GCN and receive a free book on how to preserve your foods. Again, that's D-R-Y-I-N-G-123.com, Dryingone23.com or call 1-800-875-4254. That's 1-800-875-4254 today. Soon we'll be shutting our doors and windows, shutting out fresh air for months. Did you know you're also keeping in allergens, bacteria, and germs that cause colds and flu? What if there was a low-cost way of blanketing your home with clean air? There is. Introducing the AeroAces 3000 Air Purifier. It utilizes new patent-pending nanotechnology, producing a blanket of oxidizers that cleans the air and sanitizes the surfaces. Imagine not spreading the cold or flu bug to everyone around you. AeroAces 3000 Air Purifier are made in the USA, come with a three-year warranty, have no filters to replace, no grids to clean, and require no maintenance for three years. Try the AeroAces 3000 Air Purifier risk-free for 30 days. GCN listeners, get $100 off when you order at BreatheBetterAir.com or call 806-477-0322. That's 806-477-0322. And get the best air purifier for the best price at BreatheBetterAir.com. All right, in this segment and the next, I'm going to be taking your phone calls. Max Kaiser coming up. We'll take your calls for him as well, specifically on the economy and what's happening in the world. 
John Iris is going to be popping back in. I just briefly want to say this. I was exhausted. It was 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Last Friday, I'd been up on the air for, you know, 26 of 27 hours. And I'd been up even longer than that because I got up at 5 a.m. that day. So I'd been up, I don't know, it's got to be close to 40 hours. And I was watching Fox, and they were talking about the John Irish baby situation. And they had whoever that blonde is that's on at 3, that lady. And she was, how dare them give the baby back? I Well, we hear the CPS is still going to try to get it. And she's like, why did the judge give the baby back? Well, there was no evidence. The issue is they, in the media, ran with it that he had a... Uh, child abuse conviction when he didn't. It was somebody else with a similar name. And that's what came out in court. Okay. And and it, I'm, I'm not saying he's an angel. I don't know if he is. He seems like a nice guy. Uh, the issue here is that it was because of Oath Keepers was one of the reasons they took the child. And they don't give children back lightly. Okay. So they're they're still under attack. And we're going to talk about that in the last five minutes of the next hour. Uh, but right now, let's go to John in Wyoming. John, thanks for holding. Go ahead. Yeah. Hi, Alex. A couple of things that I've seen uh, that really I think the people should know about. First of all, in these protests that are occurring in France over raising the retirement age to 62, they had it on the network news the other day. I think it was on Fox. And it shows all these protesters marching toward the camera, marching down the streets of Paris. And one of them is holding a bright yellow banner. And, of course, they cut it off before it comes to the forefront so you couldn't see the large imprint, a large facial imprint of Che Guevara on that yellow banner. But I think that in itself is interesting to see who is exactly behind all of the upheaval and protests. Oh, yeah. No, no. I mean, I mean I've been to these protests you know, here in the U.S., and I'd say usually about 20 percent are communist. I and mean, then we cover that in my film, Martial Law. They had the uh, Maoist Youth Brigade there. And that they were just complete morons, and then other ones came up and threatened us and said they hoped Stalin, you know, would have killed me. Uh, and uh, you know, they're, they're protesting because they don't want their government handouts to end. Uh, and, and then the bankers actually use them as the weapon to keep the big government welfare gravy train going to to basically keep the public addicted to big government. And another thing is, yesterday I saw that entire live debate between Rand Paul and that Jack Conway, and all I can say is, <clears throat> I'm 64 years old, Alex, and over the decades, I think Jack Conway is the biggest slime ball that I have ever seen in my life. He w didn't have the courage to debate Rand Paul on the issues regarding the senatorial campaign. All he wanted to do was to continuously lie and libel and slander Rand Paul about that non-existent incident involving that bimbo who never identified herself and just trying to use and you notice when paul threatened to, yeah, but i mean you notice when paul threatened to sue they backed off and said okay it's not really true but that but that shows how desperate they are and i believe this is going to backfire i hope it does because what he's doing is nothing short of saying uh, and Rand paul brought this out himself it's like saying well have you stopped beating your wife well, how do you answer a question like that? And what Conway is doing is engaging in the lowest form of political slime. No, it's like saying, have you stopped seen. Have you stopped robbing banks? I mean, how do you, it, it, it's a pure negative, uh, and there's no way to answer it. Even, you know, when it's, even when it's not true, it's, it's just outrageous. And Rand Paul correctly pointed out that he was doing all of this to avoid having to talk about Obamacare and the other pertinent issues. Well, if everybody gets the word out and keeps pushing, uh, Rand's going to win, but not if people think it's a shoe in It's not, and believe me, you know, we've got, what, two weeks left of the election? They're probably going to claim that he, you know, uh, crucified Jesus next. Uh, we'll be right back. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. Let me tell you a little bit about one of our great sponsors, HomeGain.com. This is the place to get you started buying or selling a home, finding a realtor, and getting any real estate questions answered. Go to HomeGain.com and see what I'm talking about. All you need to do is type in your home address and you will get an instant free estimate of your home's value online. This is a great way to be able to monitor the value of your home. And again, it's absolutely free. There are tons of tools to help you. For instance, if you want to remodel your home, 
Go to HomeGain.com. Use their Home Sale Maximizer to help you determine which home improvements can most increase your home's value before you put it on the market. For 10 years, these folks have been helping home sellers and buyers. Visit their